Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hey guys, it's James the Chart Guys. It's Thursday, March 1st. Come to my nightly video on NatGas. So NatGas, the after the initial oil reaction where um, it had a nice bull reaction and then had uh, had profit taking and a dip. Uh, what I was looking at on on the five minute was this resistance here, uh, candle at 2.684. And once we broke that, I really liked that. I really liked it, and the bull showed up. Um, and of course, was unable to break to the high of that inventory report high, but uh, looking pretty healthy here still. So basically, still in 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 a tightening range, basically on the five minute here. Um, and the oil inventory report really not that much of a reaction. Look at the hourly. So the hourly, after some big bullish moves, it, this is normal healthy consolidation, and now we've established a uh, support here on the hourly. So the low, two two point six eight five is the support to watch tomorrow. Um, and of course, the high of today, 2.731, is going to be the resistance. Um, if you'd like, you can use these upper wicks as well as, as resistances. And if we do get above this upper wick here of 2.716, uh, that's a pretty decent amount of room to run until that next resistance for those for you day traders. If I, so I'd watch for day trading a break of 2.716 to see if it can make a, a little bit of a run um, in this area for day trading scalping. And then, of course, um, continuation if it breaks 2.731 and again the support to watch will be this low of 2.685 forward chart same thing. so this is nice for the bulls so we do have a we'll see how this four hour candle closes but the four hour we have a tightening uh, four hour chart inside candles high and low within the previous range high and low Another inside candle high and low within the previous range is high and low. Currently breaking bull here. Looks like the uh, uh, the Bollinger Bands are starting to open up after they squeeze. And let's see if we can make a run and ride this upper Bollinger Band up. And the next resistance on the 4-hour chart is going to be 2.714. Let me see if it lines up. No, it doesn't. So 2.714 on the 4-hour chart. Same principle. For breaks 2.714 uh, look for a little bit of upside here with not much resistance um, here until the till 2 2.731 if you're day trading so we'll see how it ends up but the upper Bollinger Band is opening up after it's squeezed here for a little bit for a little while on the four hour we are currently getting a four hour inside candle bull break um, in favor of the bulls at this point let me go to the adjusted chart and see if it looks any different So the four hour is, I guess, slowly continuing to to move to higher highs on this four hour daily. Then they continue to slowly move to higher highs, um, and we do have a bullish MACD. We the four and eight EMAs they cross the. 20 MA, we did regain the 20 MA, and so we'll see if our next move will be if we can get above uh, 2.731 here on the daily. We'll see if we can make a run here for the upper Bollinger Band, which is at 2.773 after getting above the middle Bollinger Band 20 MA. Uh, and gotta like the volume today here. Um, that is not the strongest bull candle, but there was some volume here, so we'll see if um, bulls can continue the run after it breaks the hive today to this upper Bollinger Band on the daily. Weekly still has a lot of work to do, obviously. Weekly ideal close will be above the 8 EMA. That's at 2.709. Um, we'll, that's what bulls would like to see, 2.709. And then, of course, um, if that's the case, then I'll look for a back test of the 20 EMA on the weekly next week at 2.779. Continuation at this point as the weekly continues to play out. Um, I will be looking for a lower high up below 2.983 at for now we'll see how much momentum the bulls can have if they're able to break the 20 ma here on the weekly so have a good night and i'll see you tomorrow